Okay, so here's a quick uh, project you can do with these RGB LEDs. Uh, this is basically all you need uh, for tools. You need a pair of pliers. And uh, as far as components go, you need a 9-volt battery snap. Obviously a 9-volt battery. I'll put that off to the side for now. Um, you need the actual RGB LED, which is what this is. You need a current limiting resistor and you need three of these little uh, squeeze connectors. These are uh, crimp connectors. Basically what's inside is a bunch of teeth and when you squeeze it with a pair of pliers those teeth will bite down and, uh, and crimp and make a connection to whatever's inside there. Okay so how do we start? You get the black lead you can strip this off a little bit more if you want, but uh, these, these crimp connectors are actually meant to uh, even bite onto non-stripped conductors. So I'm not going to bother for this. It's not a, uh, a super critical project, so I'm just going to leave it uh, stripped just uh, the short amount it is. Okay, so number one thing you want to look for, um, LEDs are polarity sensitive, and there's a, always a short lead and a longer lead. And there's also on the short lead, you probably can't see it in this picture, but there's also a little flat spot on the side here. And the short lead and the flat spot indicate the cathode, uh, which is negative. So first connection we're going to do is we're going to gently separate these a little bit. We're going to line up the black wire from the 9-volt battery snap. and attach oops. and attach both of those beneath this uh, crimp connector. I'm going to take my pliers and squeeze really hard. So by squeezing those little uh, okay those little teeth are uh, gonna bite in there Give it a little pull test just to make sure it's in there and both they're in there pretty good. Okay, next connection you're going to make is uh, to one side of the resistor. Okay, so so far we have just the black lead of our battery snap connecting to the short lead of the LED. Next, the long lead of the LED is going to be connected to either side of this resistor. I'm just going to pop it in there. You can twist them together if you want, uh, I'm not going to bother right now. And again, you give it a good squeeze. And the teeth are actually uh, probably about half an inch long in there, so give it a good squeeze in a few different locations. Give it a pull test to make sure they're connected good. Okay. So here's what we got so far. We have black connected to the short lead. We got the long lead connected to the resistor. And we have one more connection to make, which is the other side of the resistor to the red wire, the positive wire of the battery snap. Straighten those out. Put those into this crimp connector. Get the pliers out, give it a good squeeze. Okay, give that one a little pull test. One more crimp on this guy. Okay, so they're all nice, nicely crimped. There's a little package. I'm going to plug this in and see what happens. There's my battery. Line up the polarities. And there we go. Blinking away. I'm just going to hit the lights and see what this thing can do. So this LED is great for putting into uh, Christmas ornament or anything. You can, uh, you know, put it behind a little bit of uh, wax paper. 
just going to move the camera back a little bit. And it looks beautiful. It's uh, very simple to do. And the effects are quite dramatic. And it'll run for hours and hours and hours off of this 9 volt battery. So there you go. Put that in something enjoyable and uh, have lots of fun. Building it takes probably about uh, a minute or so if you're so inclined. Have fun! For more information, please go to hackedgadgets.com and to purchase these LEDs and other components, please go to allen-parec.com slash store.